Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rebecca Lee, and as you can see, we're not doing a workout today. We're actually in the kitchen, which is actually where it all starts. Um, I'm sure you've heard me say before that nutrition and your diet is definitely, definitely, definitely a critical part of your workout, your nutrition, your health, your diet, getting in shape, maintaining that nice body, everything. It all starts and maintains here in the kitchen. And I've got a great product that I wanted to share with you guys today. These are called whey crisps. And they're made the same way that whey protein works with your body, the way, um, you know, just like your shake with whey protein works, except for this is in a really cool, convenient um, little edible form where you can cook with it, um, you can eat it raw, you can put it on top of your yogurt like a granola. It's just a real simple little um, granule like this that's really, really easy to um, bake with and cook with and, like I said, even eat raw. And it has an extreme amount of protein in it, so it's a great product. Um, you can pick it up at bodybuilding.com or do a Google search for whey crisps. I believe it's made by BBT, so definitely check it out. Um, I can't say enough about it. I just got it, and I love it. I can't wait to use the other recipes that um, they have. But today, we're going to make whey protein rice crispy treats sounds a little weird but i have to admit they're delicious they're really really good and they're actually pretty fun and easy to make um, all you really need is a butter substitute i'm using i can't believe it's not butter little mini marshmallows um, i actually practiced with this recipe earlier today and i used the big marshmallows and that worked fine um, i only used this much of a bag though i guess three quarters of a bag instead of the whole bag. With the little marshmallows, you're gonna use the whole bag. And then um, any kind of reduced fat peanut butter, creamy, not chunky, and that's about it. And then your whey crisp. So all you're going to do to start out with is, I believe it's two tablespoons, uh, three tablespoons of your butter supplement, or substitute. <laughs> so you're gonna take your three tablespoons of that and just um, put it in a small microwavable bowl like that. It doesn't have to be pretty, it's going to be messy, whatever. This is my cutlery drawer. And then after you get the um, margarine in there, I'm going to wipe this off because I use peanut butter a lot in my shakes and on apples and celery and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna wipe that off. I don't want butter in my peanut butter. And then I believe it's two tablespoons of the peanut butter. Let me make sure, just because this is the second time that I've made this. Yeah, two tablespoons of the peanut butter. And it already smells so good. I just really like peanut butter too, so. So make sure you got that all in one big happy bowl. doesn't really look that good to start out with, but it's going to be good, I promise. So you're going to put that in the microwave for 30 seconds and let that cook. It's going to melt into a nice um, smooth consistency. And in the meantime, while that's cooking, you can open up your mini marshmallows, which I already did, and put it in another big bowl. This is going to be a mixing bowl, so try to make it a little bit bigger than average because you're going to mix all your stuff around in it. So empty all of your marshmallows in there. And yeah, marshmallows really aren't, you know, a great healthy treat, but for this, it's going to be worth it. Um, it's going to be good. So I'm going to take that out. But you can see as it starts out with it looks kind of like egg white or eggs um, with peanut butter mixed in. It doesn't really look that good, but just kind of without scalding yourself, you're gonna mix it up. And you want it to basically get um, when I had it the right way, it looked basically like a caramel, like a really yummy caramel. So a nice smooth consistency, and it definitely smells awesome. And then you're going to put your bowl of marshmallows <laughs> into, it looks so um, unhealthy, doesn't it? It's just a big bowl of marshmallows. 
I'm going to put that in there for about a minute and a half, maybe a minute and 45 seconds, depending on your microwave. And keep mixing that up. See, it's already gotten a little bit more mixed in just by sitting there by itself. So, yeah, sorry if my nails look bad on camera.